Good evening, everybody. Can we imagine it is my first presentation in English? So I will try. <laughs> so what I will share today is an uh, experience that uh, in implementing project in UN project in Africa. So I will start at the last sentence. Sustainable development need good and available data plus funding. If you have funding and we don't have good data for to implement project, it's why many projects are uh, uh, lost at the beginning. So the objective of this project is to build a big database that is based on the good and updated data. So the challenge is, our challenge is to build, a, to make available quality and updated data in a real time. The importance of the challenge is the, to correct the socioeconomic inequality, like in this picture. Other things is better direct investment funding in a sustainable way. When the good information is known, things can change. Like this picture as shown, this health, this health poster in 2014, after two years when the information is known. So, the concern about the implementation of the project is the availability of the request equipment and adequate financial resources. The first question that sparked our curiosity is, are there availability and updated database that can be used for the national development plan and the SDGs? For that, the project involved a number of stakeholders and experts like governor, state technical services, and civil societies. So the lesson learned is inclusion of all development stakeholders to answer that no one is left behind. It's very important for the sustainability of the project. It's very important against the unexpected about the project about and the mistake is using regional and developmental and developmental data to implement project. The big problem or the big challenge we have in Africa, implementing pro uh, project on the local level, they use the data from the, uh, from the regional level that they use for to implement project in the local level. And it not shows the reality. It is why we have many, pro many problems for uh, the final evaluation in the project. The solution is to adopt the bottom up, it is a methodology that we propose that give quality and true information from the population at the local level. So the essential learning is localizing the relevant <coughs> indicator before starting the project. It is very important. It can reduce data collection time and financial cost. The result obtained as identification the location and the validation of indicator like we, did, like we did in one region in Senegal named Jurbel. During this session, we collaborated with the Bambe University and all the state technical services. So the other result obtained is the stabilization of the tools. The quantification of our result is the consensus of the methodology that used to implement the project. All technical services accept the methodology. It, it's very good, it's very important for monitoring the project. A multi-sectoral database and up-to-date is available after doing the project. The tool for data collection and monitoring evaluation are available. The discovery that can be used to inform the work of other is the location of, indica of indicator for all stakeholders. It can help for implementing project. 
the stabilization of tools that is accessible to all. This work can be applied on local planning and for updating national development plan. It can be used against for fiscal recovery. Three months ago, we support one community, one local community to recover their fiscality. It can help some time to implement some project. So the advance of this knowledge, it can be used by university for research and anybody who work on development project. Sorry for that. Ah, I'm sorry. So for the support, we need financial and sometimes technical support improving tools. What I want to say as final is many projects are implementing in Africa. But are condemned to fail from the outset due to the lack, due to the lack of quality data from the beginning of the project implementation. It's why I will share, I will ask the audience or participants to adopt and support the bottom-up methodology for more success in project because it is information from the population needs. At the end, for to build on the success, we suggest government, NGO, to integrate this methodology into national development plan at lower cost with real-time monitoring and immediate impact. Thank you very much.